Hunnigan, what happened? The transmission got cut off. <laughs> Salazar, how'd you... We've jacked the line. We didn't want you telling everyone any unnecessary information. Where's Ashley? Ah, oh, so she fell into one of our wonderful traps. We'll make sure we find her. Don't you worry about her. Oh, yes. I let our miserable insects out for some exercise down in the sewer. Thanks. That should keep me company, because boredom kills me. I look forward to our next encounter. In another life. Thus begins the oh so fun phone calls for, with the bad guys. So now we go through this door, which uh, you really couldn't see through the cutscene. You would have thought there was a dead end, but nope. Barrels. For more looty flash grenade, huh? Okay. Moving on. Now we jump down here and. Wait a second. Ah! Look at that. The uh, freaking sewer is so tall that it actually kind of meets up with the level that I was on. So, the sewer isn't. Yeah, I could hear that. Uh, the sewer isn't actually below the ground where you're at. It's actually below and even with. Now, that doesn't really make much sense as far as a design standpoint. Hey, the sewers are even with the freaking rest of the castle. Uh, yeah, so uh, you might smell something through the door there. Or th even through the walls, maybe. Now, I think there's a bug. Yep. There's insects he was talking about. Right here. They're invisible, for the most part. Kill them good. These things can be very annoying. Green eye. Yeah, these things drop eyes. I think, that for the most part, they drop eyes. Now, there's some more down here. There's two of them, specifically. Oh, you piece of crap. No, I think he actually jumps back down. There we go. I got him. He actually, when he jumped, I think he jumped on the wall, not up above. Uh, yeah, here we go. Here's the other insect. Yeah, I hate how these things go invisible like that. It's hard to see them. Did I get it? No. Damn! Things taking a lot of hits. Usually I don't take that many hits, but now I finally got rid of them. Okay. Velvet blue. Red eye, green eye. Yeah, the more rare one is the blue eye. Those give you more, um... Yeah, the eyes are basically just jewels, really. They give you, uh... They give you some money. The green eyes are worth the least. The red eyes are worth more, and the blue eyes are worth the most. But the blue eyes are very rare. And... Shit, there's gonna be a guy... There's gonna be a bug that comes out of there. Yep, there it is. These things are annoying as all hell. Sometimes they're hard to kill. You gotta just keep nailing them until they're dead. You got you can't let up on them or else they'll end up jumping on the ceiling or any other which way. Shit, they also spit shit at you. Uh healing. I guess I'll go with my freaking first aid spray. Shit, here we go. Here's what I was talking about. They climb over the ceiling and everywhere and you can't see them. So they get you before you can actually find out where they are. So, if you keep pounding on them, they can't run away, they can't disappear on you. That's how you have to kill them, or else... Pfft, or else you're screwed. They just get you. <laughs> Doors too rusted won't budge. Yeah, that's a load of shit, because a little bit later on, a bug is gonna actually come out of there and attack me. So, yeah, Leon can't kick that door open, but a bug can. That's, that's awesome. That's just freaking awesome. Incendiary grenade. Oh shit, I heard another bug. Where is it? There you are! Yeah, they're mostly invisible. I shouldn't say they're completely invisible, because they're not. You can still see them somewhat. If you pay close enough attention, you can see the distortions created from their little invisibility. Um. I don't know, whatever you call it. From their, uh... Camouflage. 
Lewis's memo, whatever it's doing down here in the sewer, <laughs> I won't know that. Uh, there are some parasites that have the ability to control their hosts. It's basic knowledge among biologists, but not much is known on how the parasites do it. Studying these parasites specifically might reveal some clues as to how the powers of the Las Plagas work, and perhaps provide more insight on the victims of the Las Plagas, the Los Ganados. Here's a list of some parasites that have the ability to manipulate the behavioral patterns of their host. I am not going to try to pronounce that. <laughs> Once the larva of this parasite migrates to the ant's esophagus, it alters the, the behavior of the ant. When the temperature drops in the evening, the affected ant climbs to the top of a plant and clamps onto the leaf using its mandible. It stays there immobile until the next morning, placing the ant where it is most vulnerable to be eaten by browsing herbivores such as sheep. One could conclude that the parasite is manipulating the host's behavior to make its way into the body of its definitive host. Yeah, not going to try to pronounce that one either. The larva of this parasite makes its home inside the brain of the fish, such as the yellowtail and the parrot bass. Once infected, the fish make their way up to the water's surface, where they'll swim until eaten by seabirds. Once again, this particular behavior can only be explained by the parasite's behavior, uh, desire to get into the bodies of the seabirds. Yeah. No, a third one I'm not pronouncing. <laughs> this parasite's sporocysts develop in the snail's tentacles. The sporocysts are vivid in color and pulsate continually somewhat like a worm. Surprisingly, the infected snail makes its way to the top of the plant where it is more visible to the eyes of birds, therefore more likely to be eaten. Once eaten by a bird, parasite will complete complete into its metamorphosis into an adult. Yeah, so that basically gives you a little bit of backstory as to how the plagas infect everyone and everything. So uh, they basically just kind of get into small things and then wait to be eaten by the big stuff. Wait for those small things to be eaten by bigger things. Using um, natural selection as its uh, means to go from from host to host. There's a green herb, and here's the butterfly lamp. And uh, now you can see over here, back where we were, that area over there is flooded, so we have to drain the water with the drainage valve. That will allow us to get into the next area now. So I gotta go back. And now here come more bugs right here. They're gonna come out that hole up top. Yeah, I'm holding the A button, so uh, while well, for shooting. So while I'm doing that, it counts as the A for the kick. Now, after killing him, another one should come out of that hole. Just keep blasting. Hopefully, I can get through this without taking a hit. Yes, good. Okay, there's that. Those two are dead. I think in the GameCube version, only one of them drops out of there, not two, but I can't be sure. I can't remember. Uh, now, oh, here we go. Yep, there it is. See, I told you that uh, that damn thing gets knocked out by a bug and the bug tries to come after you. The good thing that eyes light up like that or else I'd just never be able to see them at all. I think another one might come out of that hole. Yup. Oh no, he put on the ceiling and stuff. Oh sh- oh. oh, I did not. Okay, I shot him down. I got a lucky shot in not being able to see him. Shot him down. Okay. So yeah, there's the drainage valve over there. Here's the place where we drained. And now here comes the scripted part. Open that door, and this dude falls behind. <laughs> Makes it easy to kill him when you have to, when you know he's coming. So yeah, that one's scripted always happen. You kick down the door, you shoot that bastard. You turn around and shoot him. He'll always drop down just as soon as you kick that door open. It's just scripted that way, so... Yeah. Okay, I don't think there's really anything left to loot here. And it looks like I'm climbing upstairs some, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah, here's the nice cliched blade swinging thing. It's so pathetically easy to get through, it's not funny. I mean, you have to have awful timing to actually get hit by those things. Absolutely terrible timing, because <laughs> it, it gives you so much uh, room for error. 
it's just way too hard to get hit by those things, really, as long as you're not completely retarded. I shouldn't say that, though. I mean, accidents happen. <laughs> but still. Oh, this part, I... Oh. They're down there praying their hearts out. I hope I have a grenade. Yes, I have two of them, actually. I'm gonna want this. 